Welcome back to a special edition of Weekend Today in New York on this Saturday morning. I'm Pat Battle live at Ground Zero. And just a few minutes ago, you watched the story of Lisa Patterson, a young widowed mother from Ridgewood, New Jersey, who has twins who are now 14. They were four years old at the time of the terror attacks. And as you saw in that story, each of those children has a very different way of coping with the loss of their dad, Stephen Patterson, on September 11th. And that's a critical issue here. How do you talk to your kids as they watch? our ongoing coverage as they see what's happening around them. How do you talk to them about the impact of September 11th and how to keep themselves safe? Well, here to answer that question for us is Liz Roberts. She's with Safe Horizon. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, You're the Pat. chief program officer, and you played such a pivotal role along with the city in, in that first response and, and to get people to a safe place, both physically and emotionally. How now do we tell our kids on this 10th anniversary? How do we bring them to where we are? So the most important thing is to keep in mind that every child's response is different and unique to that child. Um, and to keep in mind that children may not tell you what they're, what they're thinking or what they're feeling. So it is so important for parents to open a dialogue with their children, to let them know the anniversary is coming, ask them what they're thinking about, what they're concerned about, and have that open conversation. Particularly for young kids, Liz, um, you know, it's, it's so important to have this dialogue, but not push them to the point where they are fearful. Where do you draw the line? How much information and what kind of information do you share with children, particularly young children. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing I would say to any parent of a young child is that the visual images of the towers burning, of the planes crashing into them, of the aftermath can be very troubling for a young child. And they're not able to understand this is something that happened 10 years ago. And so I would encourage parents to consider keeping the TV off when their young children are around, or at least limiting their exposure to those images. Um, the other thing that parents of young children can do is to maintain routines, um, to reassure their child over the course of the next few days and also to think about how you're taking care of yourself. Young children are so sensitive to our moods, um, to how we're coping. They need to know that we're all right and if we're all right then they feel they'll be all right. So taking care of yourself is so important. It is really and, and you at Safe Horizons you have done a remarkable job in, in to that end. Um, when you look back 10 years ago and see where you have come and who you brought with you, mm -hmm. how do you reflect back? Well, Safe Horizon is very proud of the role we played in the months and years right after 9-11. We're the largest and are the largest victim um, assistance agency in the area, and so we were able to jump right in to bring a skilled staff to bear at the family assistance centers. We established a 9-11 hotline that took more than 200,000 calls in the years after 9-11. And so we were there with families who were grieving and who were traumatized to help them get back on their feet. A very difficult struggle for, for all of us, Liz, but you helped a lot of people. We appreciate that. Thank we you appreciate so you joining much, us here at Top of the Roof this morning. Thank you very much. And when we come back, we're going to meet a survivor. He wasn't a first responder, but he